Hello, everybody. I want to welcome you to another Asa Abloy Academy webinar. Uh, today's topic is going to be on the touchless solutions that is offered by Norton Door Controls. Before we get into today's topic, just a couple of housekeeping things uh, in case this is the first time that you've joined us in the webinar. You're going to be muted, but that doesn't mean that you can't communicate with me via the Q&A feature built into Zoom. Uh, it's there on your screen somewhere. Click that, ask me questions as we go, and I'll answer those to the best of my ability. Also, you're going to get an email from us within 24 hours of attending. This is your proof of attendance for the training, and you can visit our Osable Academy dot com forward slash America's website at any time and sign up to take over 50 online courses that you also get certificates of completion for those as well. They're anywhere from 25 minutes to an hour and a half long, all completely free uh, for you to use. And my name is Chad Tibbetts. I'm a training specialist with Asa Abeli Academy. I've been with the training team for going on six years, and my background is in um, low voltage, it's in installation, and I'm really passionate about the offering that Norton has. So we're going to talk um, primarily how these uh, low energy operators address the contactless and touchless solutions that um, everybody is looking for these days. All in all, I expect that we'll have you here today between um, 35 and 45 minutes. And again, ask questions as you go. I'll be monitoring the Q&A during this entire webinar. I'd uh, love to answer your questions. If I can't answer your question during today's session, then um, I'll get back to you at the end if uh, something that I can't answer. So just know that. So getting right into it. Norton has seven operators in their family, and they are designed, engineered, machined, assembled, tested, packed, shipped, and supported from Monroe, North Carolina. Uh, these low energy operators are for swing doors, which means that they're operated by some type of knowing act. This could be a switch, it could be a card reader, a depression of a switch, a wave to open switch. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. And they um, they won't be activated, however, by a sensor. If you see an operator that is activated by a sensor, you walk up into the walk up to the operator and it opens automatically. That's what we would call a high energy operator. And those are not manufactured by Norton. However, those are manufactured by Asaboli entrance systems if you're in need of a high energy operator. This chart, as we go from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side of the screen, Operators go from um, features to greater features. So the 5600 being our, uh, our least expensive and our least feature rich operator all the way over to the far right hand side of the screen, the 6300, which is our most full featured operator. And as you go from the bottom side of your screen to the top, they're built for the use, durability and use. So our 6000 series and our 6000 DD series, our double door series, those are designed for the heaviest amount of use, uh, which the 6000 series is tested for 25 million cycles. So if you have uh, doors that uh, you know you're gonna be used a lot every day um, being activated for the low energy operator, to be used, then the 6000 might be the right one for you. We're going to go over some of the specifics a little bit later. So we're going to talk about highlight these areas and how Norton operators can reduce community spread of uh, germs in general, uh, whether we're talking about COVID, whether we're talking about the flu or anything else that you can think of. And we do that through two particular areas and we have those uh, broken up into social distancing and reducing touch points. The first one that we're going to talk about is social distancing. The first way that these operators can help social distancing is the idea of a one person install. 
all Norton operators are either light enough that they can be installed by one person or they're modular, meaning that all the components in the box are disassembled and you put them together piece by piece, making sure that no one component is so heavy that uh, you need more than one technician uh, to install it. Another way that they do this is you eliminate many different trades when it comes to these low energy operators being installed. There are holes in the sides or the back of the operator back plates for um, conduit. So if you have um, an electrician come out and give you the, uh, the, the power for these, the uh, 120 volt DC power in most cases, uh, low voltage power in other cases, then the low voltage technician can, uh, in many states, make those connections. So eliminating the need for multiple uh, trades to be there. But uh, for me, when I was installing operators 15 years ago, oftentimes those operators were 30, 35 pounds, and you had to have somebody right next to you. And not only is that just inefficient, it costs more money to install because you have two technicians sitting on site. So this modular design or lightweight design, I think it's really, really awesome for the one person install. It just uh, makes it easier to schedule to have people come out, whether you're the customer or the person that is scheduling the install, it's just more efficient. What you see here is the uh, 6300 on the left hand side, but our 6000 series is also modular in sign. Another way that we do this is through an executive mode feature that is available with several of our operators. And think of this as a toggle. One button press of, of an operator in an executive mode will toggle the door from open to closed or close to open. So if you are in an office and there's a lot of conversations happening outside of your office like there is in this picture here, you can simply press your remote switch and your office will go from a hold open position to a closed position. Another way that we do this is with the um, infinite hold open. These operators, many of these operators have the ability to accept an input from an access control panel, from a switch that's installed to go into an infinite hold open mode meaning that they will stay open until they either get a signal to close from the access control panel or from a switch, or if there's a fire alarm, these operators that are fire rated can hook up to the fire alarm system and uh, they, they can close that way. Or if the building loses power, then they'll also go into a, a closed position, uh, stopping the, the flow of fire. These operators can also help to reduce touch points. One of the ways they do that is with a super scan. I mentioned earlier that high energy operators can open automatically. You walk up to them, they see you, and they open automatically. Low energy operators, the ones that are manufactured by Norton, have to have a knowing act. But if you have a large group of people that are going to be leaving an area, so let's say the end of a sporting event or an assembly of some kind, you can install these super scan presence detectors and they will stop and they can stop the door from closing if they see motion. So let's say that you've only got the door set up to stay open for five seconds after somebody activates the operator and they go to a full open position, but for, a, for an amount of time, if the super scan sees movement through the doorway, they will stay open for the amount of time that you set before they go back to the closed position. So that will reduce the number of people that are constantly touching the door. Uh, that'll also save the door and just uh, allow everything to be uh, more uh, durable and last longer because we have less wear and tear on the door. Uh, the exit devices, if that's what you have on the door, uh, the hinges, the frame, everything else will just last longer because people are not banging in and kicking the door open. 
One of those presence detectors is the 585. And this motion sensor, which again, stops the door in movement, um, does not actually activate when it sees a person, is a plug and play for the 6000 series and the 6300 series, which means there's no special wiring you have to do. There's a connector that plugs directly into the board. Very, very simple. You can set these up for a half a second to a nine second hold time. So if it sees a person, it'll hold for nine seconds and then enclose after the motion has ended. Or you can set it up, it'll just hold for half a second once the person has left the motion area, one uh, half a second is elapsed and then the door will close. These are very versatile. You can plug them in to 12 or 24 volt AC or DC, so alternating current or direct current, uh, which means that you could more than likely add them after the install. Let's say that the operator was installed and then people want to add this presence detector later on. You've already got power. Most of our operators have 24 volt DC power supplies built into them, which you can run this presence detector off of. Um, but most buildings will also have power supplies of some kind that run something that you can tap into. You can program this presence detector with the two button onboard uh, clickers and follow the lights. The lights will flicker so many, um, so many flashes and that'll tell you what setting you're in. Or you can buy the optional programming re remote, that's the 585 REM. And that will give you access to all of the features where you can change the motion area, the angle of detection, all of the delays, everything with the remote. I highly recommend the remote if you're going to be installing multiple of these. Another feature that we have is the wave to open switch. Now this is a near field activation, meaning that it won't just activate if somebody walked past the switch. Remember, we still have to have these as a knowing act. So waving in front of the wave to open switch within four inches will activate. These are also ADA compliant with the audible beep and the visual red green that you can set. You can make it red uh, active or green active and you can make it red or green at rest. So you get to decide that from the back. There's also a time delay that you can set on these as well. This is also available. These wave to open switches are also available in several operator kits, making it very, very easy to order. Um, don't have to worry about ordering, ordering them separately. If you order several of our operators in kits, we'll give you those kit numbers um, here in just a little bit. So these wave to open switches are the 700 series. We always uh, say series when there are additional part numbers that you have to consider. They are 12 or 24 volt DC powered. Again, many of our operators have that power supply 24 volt available and you, would, you can power these directly off of that, which means just one wire run from the operator to the wave to open switches you need a minimum of four conductor. So four individual wires in that installation, that's two wires for the activation switch and two wires for the power. If you're gonna order the 700, then you need to specify a single, which is on the top left or a double on the top right, or you can also order the narrow, which is the 704. If you want that to fit into a one and three quarter aluminum jam, nice and clean, then you would want the 704. So let's take a look at a quick video on how you can also convert a push button switch to a wave to open uh, should you decide to do that. So if you're walking through and you have operators now that are low energy operators and they have push buttons, you can, even if they're not Norton operators, more than likely, they're just activated with a dry contact. It's the way most operators are designed. You have to check with your specific operator, but more than likely the Norton 700 series wave to open switch can be 
upgraded and you can add that to um, replace the switches that you have currently. So let's take a look at how we would uh, convert that and then we'll come back and uh, discuss some other things. In this video, we'll replace a push to open button with the Norton 700 wave to open switch connected to a Norton 5700 series power operator. For more information, visit NortonDoorControls.com. The tools required for this installation will be a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips number two screwdriver, four conductor wire, and some wire strippers. To start, ensure the power switch is in the off position. Remove the cover from the operator and then turn the breaker inside the unit to the off position. For safety, make sure your external power is disconnected. Verify the high voltage power source before proceeding. Once the power is off and it's safe to work, remove the mounting screws from the push to open button and remove it from the mounting box. The wave to open switch requires 12 to 24 volts of DC power as well as dry contacts for operation. So the existing two conductor wire will need to be replaced with a four conductor wire to power and operate the wave to open switch. Pull the wire from the mounting box to the operator, leaving enough slack on each end to make the proper connections. Now that the old push to open button is removed, let's start by wiring the new wave to open switch. Using your wire strippers, strip back approximately a quarter inch to expose bare wire on all four of your conductors on the wave to open switch side. To ensure the proper wiring connection, loosen the screws fully and note the silver contact is all the way down. Insert one wire into each of the following terminals. The power positive terminal, the power negative terminal, the normally open or NO terminal, and the common or C terminal. In this example, we'll use the following color wires. Red for the power positive, black for the power negative, white for the normally open, and green for the common. Tighten the screws on each of the terminals to ensure the wires are secure. Now you can mount your wave to open switch to the wall. On the operator end of your wire, you'll need to strip approximately a quarter inch to expose bare wire on all four of your conductors. Now, let's make our connections. Connect your power positive wire, in this example, we're using the red wire, to the power supply plus V terminal. Connect your power negative wire, in this example, using the black wire to the power supply negative V terminal. Then connect your C or common wire, in this example, we're using the green wire to the two terminal. And connect your normally open wires, in this example, we're using the white wire to terminal one. Ensure all of your connections are secure. And congratulations, you have successfully completed the installation. Now it's time to test the operator. For more information, visit NortonDoorControls.com. So you can see how quickly you can convert. And like I said, they're not specifically designed only for the Norton operators. They can be used in many other operators. So if you're just interested in upgrading just your switches that you have currently, uh, that's something you can check into. Another thing that allows us to uh, reduce those touch points is that Wi-Fi setup. Currently, our 6300 operator is the only one that has the Wi-Fi programming, but that will be coming very soon to other operators as well. So check your um, updates and flyers for that information. But the way this works is the operator emits a Wi-Fi hotspot signal that we then hook up to with any Wi-Fi capable device. That could be a tablet, a cell phone, a laptop. It doesn't matter, provided that that device has the ability to open a browser and type in an IP address. The operator does have a password. Each operator will use a password. That password can be found inside the end cap of the operator. And you don't have to pull the cover to get this uh, to uh, sync up to your device. You can toggle the on and off switch three times that will turn the Wi-Fi hotspot on. Then we can use our device to program all of the settings. That is all of the inputs, the outputs, the open speed, the hold open times, all of the extra features, everything can be done with an app. That is 
really, really awesome. And like I said, this is a feature that started off with us, the 6300. We'll be moving to several of our operators as well. Let's get into some of the individual operator features. Again, we have seven low energy operators. We're not going to go through a ton of detail in each of them, but I'm going to highlight some things that I think you might uh, want to know about. With these operators, they are either electrohydraulic or electromechanical. Electrohydraulic are very, very long life. They're very quiet. They have a very, very smooth door feel because if you just use it, if you push the door open and let the door closed, essentially all you're using is a regular door closer. There is a hydraulic door closer built inside of the operator. You would not know that you are pushing a door open that has an operator on it for any of the Norton electrohydraulic operators. Those are the 5700, the 5500, and the 6000. On the electrohydraulic, that's going to be a motor that powers it open if you activate it. And then a door closer kicks in and then closes the door to its closed position. With these operators, with electrohydraulic operators, you would want to adjust the hydraulics on the door closer, just like you would a regular door closer prior to setting all of the electronics. On the electromechanical, however, we can make these operators a little bit smaller because they don't have to contain a door closer. That's going to be power open and power close. The motor gearbox is doing all of the open and the close. They are still very quiet, but not as quiet as an electrohydraulic. But with the electromechanical, we gain some features that we just can't naturally do on electrohydraulic. Uh, that could be dynamic braking, latch release, lock boost, power closed, power assist. There's a, a lot of other features that we can just do with an electromechanical that we cannot do with an elect, uh, electrohydraulic. So if those are some features that you're looking for, then your uh, 6300 is probably going to be um, the one you would want to go with. We'll talk about some of the specifics between the 5600 there on the left hand side and the 5800 here in a second. But first, let's talk a little bit more detail about the electro hydraulic that Norton offers. And first, we're going to just watch a quick video of an overview of the 6000, which again is the only one in our lineup that is designed single cover or I would say continuous cover that goes over a double door. It is in multiple sections, but there is not a separation between um, the operators. So let's watch that quick video and we'll continue. The 6000 series low energy operator from Norton is prepared to withstand the daily abuses of even the most highly trafficked doors, including hospital corridors, high school entrances, and busy public spaces such as libraries and government buildings. The Norton 6000 series combines built-in intelligence with the grade one reliability of an integral 7500 mechanical door closer for smooth and efficient door control. Installation is a breeze with the back plate serving as both a template and heavy duty platform for the operator's small number of components. The modularity of the 6000 series operators and back plate make installation easy enough for one person even on double door applications. This special design makes shipping and stocking of full length two door units convenient and economical too. The Norton 6000 series modern look blends with most door frames. Even double door models feature a full length cover for seamless aesthetic appeal. Norton's full range of low energy operators offers the right levels of door control and code compliance needed for a myriad of commercial swing door applications from open to close. The 6000 unit is the heaviest duty unit that we have. It is tested in Monroe, third party certified to 25 million cycles. You can buy it again in a double door design. You would specify when you're ordering it, uh, the handing of the operators and specify that uh, you want the double door uh, with a D uh, in the part number. They're non-handed. They have the uh, power built in, the power, slide, uh, power supply built in to power 
anything up to about uh, 1.3 amps, and that's going to be the max peak amps, uh, 24 volt DC, which means that if you're trying to power a maglock, an electric um, uh, latch retraction exit device, an electric strike, you can do that all from the operator. It's available in many um, architectural finishes. Check the catalog for all of those. Also, Norton can do custom finishes as well. So if you find that the finish that you're looking for just isn't in the catalog, get in touch with Norton and they can get you a quote for custom finishes. The 5700 is also our one of our electrohydraulic operators and this has a Norton 1600 door closer built in. And the way we like to look at this is that if you would normally use a 1600 grade one sized closer for a door, then the 5700 might be a good option for you. It's rated up to 15 million cycles. It also has a built-in power supply for your electric strikes, your mag clocks, or your exit devices. You can get this one with an optional power cord. And I, I like this feature because an electrician can give you a receptacle right up there by the door. And this operator would be literally just a plug and play. It's the same type of power cord that you would plug into the back of a desktop computer or the back of your monitor, making the installation very, very quick and easy. You can get this with an executive mode package. And what I like also about this unit is that you can specify a universal unit which is the 5740. Uh, the 40 in many of our operators designates that you're going to get an operator that is non-handed, right hand or left hand, and it comes with the appropriate brackets and arms to do either a push side or a pull side. Uh, what we're looking at in this picture is pull because if you are standing on this door, you're standing on the same side of the door as the operator and you would pull this door to you to get through it. So that's a pull mount. If you specify 5740 um, by the finish, there are other, other options that you can put in with that part number, but you're going to get an operator that is left hand or right hand to push or pull. Well, it just makes it really great for anyone who is stocking an operator and you're not quite sure uh, what you're going to need for the next one that you're going to install. On that note, if you specify a 5740K2, K stands for kit, this uh, two designates the kit where you would get the plug and play power cord, you get the push or pull arms, and you specify the type of wave to open switches you would like, either single or double. So again, 5740K2 is your all-in-one kit for your wave to open activation. We also have a 5500. We've had the 5500 for a little less than a year. This is the same operator as a 5700 minus a couple of features and minus the power supply. We had a lot of customers asking for um, an entry level cost operator that was really quiet, really durable and reliable, but they just didn't need the power supply they didn't need uh, push and go. They didn't need um, executive mode. They wanted a base model operator. So we, we answered that. We came out with the 5500 series. It is the same motor and door closer and everything as the 5700. It just uh, does not come with the power supply. Now, if you have a 5500 and you put it in and later on you decide that you want to add a power supply, then you can order that separately from Norton. So that's going to conclude our um, electrohydraulic. Let's get into our electromechanical next. The first one we're going to take a look at is a video on the 5800 series. This operator is very unique. It is the only low energy operator that mounts to the door where the body of the operator mounts to the door instead of the frame. And that gives it a major advantage over a lot of operators in unique situations. So let's take a look at the 5800. I'll highlight a few things and then we'll move on. 
Introducing one of the world's only regenerative power door operators. The 5800 series ADAEZ from Norton Door Controls is a simple solution for high traffic doors that occasionally require automatic operation. The unit's regenerative drive system creates its own power through manual operation. No wires necessary. If electrical power is necessary, a transformer kit can plug the operator into a common outlet. The unit mounts like a traditional door closer and protects the door, frame, and operator from high wind and abuse. An optional interface module connects the operator to wireless push buttons, access control systems, and electric locking devices. A patented auto-tune feature sets door speed and force parameters in compliance with ANSI standards to ensure user safety. The Norton 5800 Series ADAEZ is a simple, low-energy solution for a multitude of applications from open to close. I'm sure you can see all of the potential uses for the 5800, considering that you can go from no operator to a low energy operator that is uh, paired and activated and set up in less than an hour. It's pretty incredible. And you don't have to pay attention to the, the frame size, what's mounted above the frame. Do we have conduit? Um, do we have other things, which we'll talk about in just a second. It's rated at 10 million cycles. You can power this thing with a 24 volt DC power supply that you can order through a kit. If you do that, you don't have to worry about the batteries draining. If you're interested in putting this on a door with no power added to it at all, if you're just going to use the onboard battery pack, then what we do is we say that you need out of 100 uses, about 80% of those need to be manual uses where you would use this just to walk through the door that will keep the battery charged because remember it's regenerative every time we walk through the door it's charging the battery pack that'll give us about 20 percent of those electrical now everything is wireless the push buttons are wireless they're they work kind of like a, a garage door remote they have their own battery built in 250,000 pushes on the activation switches if you're using the, the ones that you actually press. But this is also available in a, a wave to open, which will give you the uh, part number for that here in just a second. But I just wanted to highlight all of these situations where a low energy operator is gonna be really difficult to use. Uh, you can see the uh, really, really deep reveal on picture number one. We have a very, very narrow frame on uh, picture two. We've got the glass up above um, on three, again, low ceiling height, four, uh, weird pr uh, frame profile, uh, five, another uh, deep reveal, uh, six, low ceiling height. You can just see going through these, we've got an exit sign on number eight that is hung down into the opening. We wouldn't be able to mount an operator there. Um, custom frame profile again on nine, exit sign on 10. You can just go through this air curtain on 12. All of these uh, situations would make it very, very difficult and costly to mount a traditional operator. If you're looking for the wave to open kit, then you would need the 5845 WTO. That's the wave to open. You're going to get the operator with a push and a pull bracket. So it can go on either side. It'd be regular mount or parallel. You'll get your power supply, your plug-in transformer, and you get a two-tone cover in, in case you wanted to use that. Next, let's talk about the uh, 6300 uh, with the Wi-Fi programming. So the 6300 series is available in two different widths. To accommodate a 3070, you can get the longer width, which is 39 and I believe 5 eighths long. And that just is a very clean look. It spans the entire frame to frame opening. You can also get a shorter unit, which is about two inches shorter in case you wanted to put two of these next to each other for double door applications. This is an electromechanical. So we have a lot of features that we can turn on um, such as a 
power assist, latch boost, lock release, dynamic braking, um, many, many other things that we can do on this particular unit that we can't do with others. It's a two year um, limited warranty. And right now it is designed to handle a door weight up to 200 pounds. Let's take a quick video on how this 6300 with the Wi-Fi programming functions. The Norton 6300 door operator has been upgraded to make setup and programming easier than ever before. Potentiometers and dip switches have been replaced with this user-friendly LCD panel, which is also Wi-Fi compatible. The unit can be controlled from any smart device and downloading an app is not required. There are two different ways to enter Wi-Fi mode. If the cover is still on, simply toggle the on-off switch three times in succession. You will hear a one-second beep confirming the Wi-Fi is on. To enter Wi-Fi using the LCD screen, toggle up on the joystick to the Wi-Fi link screen, then right to turn Wi-Fi on. Toggle down one screen to see the Wi-Fi password or refer to your quick start guide for password accessibility. Once in Wi-Fi mode, go to the settings menu on the smart device and access the NDC 6300 Wi-Fi network. Then enter the password. At this point, it's necessary to open any internet browser and search for the IP address 192.168.1.1. This will open the 6300 setup screen. Choose setup at the top of the screen to enter the door setup menu. Start by choosing either a push or pull installation. Next, with the door closed, select set closed position so the operator can learn the closed position of the door. Then open the door fully and select set open position. And finally, select learn to initiate the automatic learn process. The door will step through an opening cycle as it learns its environment. Allow the door to complete the cycle and close before proceeding. The settings menu accesses all the settings used to control the operator. For example, under the speed force tab, we can choose to increase or decrease the opening speed of the door. Select opening speed. Use the slider to select the new speed setting and save. The next tab opens a menu of various timing and location settings, such as latch location and hold open time. The options menu allows the owner to choose from a list of helpful options. In this example, we'll choose to turn the push and go option on. So if the door is pushed open, it will continue to open automatically. Another new feature is the connections menu. Here, any of the operator's external inputs and outputs can be assigned to meet individual needs. In this example, we'll change input 5 from blow open to open activation. Just select the input and then select the setting from the scrolling menu below. For added security, the Wi-Fi will turn off automatically after 20 minutes of inactivity. It can be turned off immediately by toggling the on-off switch three times. A half-second beep will confirm Wi-Fi is off. If you're interested in a little bit more in-depth class uh, on the 6300, I have done a uh, 6300 webinar exclusively we talk about all of the features and actually give you a demonstration of how to use the wi-fi programming you can find that in our on our website under uh, previously recorded webinars that will take you to a box cloud folder and you can simply search 6300 to find that class recording last but not least is our 5600 series this is an electromechanical operator. It is our um, least feature rich and also our least expensive operator. Out of the entire lineup, this operator is the only one that is not fire rated. So that is um, really something important to pay attention to. But where this operator really excels 
are those office doors, again, that are non-fire rated or those restroom doors that are just push pull. It does have an onboard power supply for your electric starts, uh, electric strikes, I should say, um, hold open adjustment. You can get this with an electric uh, executive mode kit, come standard with an on and off switch and um, push and go is also standard. The 5600 comes with more kits than available with any other operator. Uh, you can see there that you can get the operator a push pull with just the wave to open activation switches, or you can also order this with an electric strike that will work um, either your uh, mag lock, not your mag lock, <laughs> your cylindrical lock or your mortise lock. So you can see there you have the 5610 K1, the 5630 K1 SC or the SM that denotes the type of electric strike that, that you're going to be getting with that. And that's going to be the uh, 5000 series, I believe, and then the 1006. So just check that out if you want to get it just all one kit together. Again, non-fire rated. It's a great little operator. We have them all over our factories and our restrooms. Uh, wave to open on both sides for open uh, and close. Just again, not fire rated. So with that, I wanted to leave you with some uh, tools and some resources. I, I want to thank everybody for showing up today and, and kind of going through this with us on the uh, the way that the Norton operators can help reduce touch points in, in your facility. But we also have some additional tools and resources that can uh, really help you find information. We want to be easy to do business with. That's from the Asavali Academy side to all the individual brands or Asavali door security solutions as a whole. One of the ways that you can do that is through the Norton website. You can get to sell sheets. You can get to all of our installation guides, our wiring diagrams. All of our technical information can also be found there on their website. And the catalogs, the price books, are also available in a digital um, catalog for um, any of, uh, it's a digital PDF, which is all clickable and searchable, uh, very, very easy to use. Um, so check that out. You can also get to any of our digital catalogs through the Asabli DSS uh, website. Another way that you can get information on any of our brands is through the Asabli customer support app. This is available through Google Play, or the App Store on iOS is completely free for you to use. We don't require you to give us all of your information if you choose uh, not to. I would say this, that if you go ahead and sign up and put a profile in there, if you're talking to a customer support person or a tech rep and you get disconnected for whatever reason, they'll have had your phone number and your email. They can get back in touch with you uh, if you do fill out your um, profile. But this customer support app is fantastic if you're in the field. You can get to all of the catalogs, the installation sheets, the sell sheets, the price books, everything that you could get to on the website, you can get at the palm of your hand. But what it also allows you to do if you are uh, doing an installation or you have people doing an installation and they have a question, a technical question, they can call the tech rep for Norton directly from your, your tablet or your cell phone and stream video to that tech rep on exactly what the issue is. Um, perhaps that you're troubleshooting one that's already been installed by someone else and there's some wires that are plugged into the wrong position. You can easily show that to the tech rep and they can help you with that. So it's a very powerful tool. Uh, think of it as your uh, personal FaceTime with our technical support team. Really, really awesome. I mentioned that we have that Asabli Resource Center that you can that can be found at asabli.dss.com. If you go to the Resource Center tab at asabli.dss.com, you can click on Collateral Materials and then search by brand. All of the North American brands that are a part of DSS, the Door Security Solutions Group, you'll be able to find there. And again, you can get to all of the material that you need. Katie Flower 
is one of our instructors that developed this fantastic egress calculator. This is an app that you can use on um, any device that you can get to a browser, a desktop, tablet, smartphone, anything that you can use a browser. And it allows you to calculate the occupant load, the egress width, the quantity of exits required for a type of occupancy type, swing direction of the doors, and you can save and download all of that data after you've set it for your facility. You can email it to people. Um, it's free to use. You can use it with your single sign-in through Connect or a guest login. If you'd like more information about the Asabli egress calculator that was developed by Katie Flower, you can also watch a previously recorded session where she walks you through all of the features and how to use each aspect of that calculator. Um, I highly recommend you check that out if you're in the business of knowing uh, all of those things. How wide does this door need to be for an assembly that's over 50 people? Um, this is a good tool for that. Additional tools that are available from Asa Aboy, the first one is the extranet. If you're one of our customers, one of our distributors, and you don't have access to the extranet, um, get with your local rep and uh, gain access to that. Um, connect, instant access to customer information. You can check uh, online order entry. You can also get to the same area that I was talking to you about earlier, the uh, resource uh, catalog library. Same place that you would get at the DSS uh, website, you can get here in the extranet. We have several conversion tools that you can convert products from other manufacturers to our product. There is an access control configurator that you can also gain access to that will give you the part number for all of um, different card readers and different technologies and everything else. So if you're an integrator and you're interested in this, uh, it's a very, very awesome tool. Um, with that, I would like to just conclude by saying thank you. I appreciate your time today. If you have any questions at all, I'm going to hang out for a couple of minutes to answer any questions. If you have any at the uh, at the end of this that you forgot to ask, then you can email us at our uh, academy uh, email. You can get in touch with your DSS rep, which is going to also get in touch with us, or you can um, email Norton directly. They would uh, be more than happy to help you out.